Hello, Jim Hodges here, Joey here. Joey is a standard poodle, three years old, that came in for our residency training program, primarily for some tweaks. She's a service dog. She's already got a lot of good training behind her. The biggest thing that I'm here to help provide is leadership. Is she's gotten a little comfortable with some of her commands. She takes a little bit of advantage. She doesn't do them quite the way we want them to. So I've come in to put in our leader of the pack philosophy, which I think is so important. The leader of the pack, I believe, is God ordained. God put dogs on earth as pack animals. And in the pack, there's the leader all the way down to the least. Okay? And they do that through a number of senses, primarily touch. Okay? When our puppy or our dog that we get comes into our home, yes, they probably know we're not a dog, but I believe that social pack instinct is still strong. And this is a great time to put ourselves in a leadership position because it teaches our dog that we're in control, do as we ask you to do, and life is gonna be lovely. You're gonna be more secure and comfortable in your relationship. You're not gonna to have to worry about ascending to leadership because we're already there. So when she's taking advantage a little bit of, of commands and maybe going beyond the call of duty or not quite doing what we ask, Leadership takes the place through obedience here, so we can provide the proper praise if she does it right. Praise is a combination of words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion, all in that moment of time, or a consequence in that moment, or prior, right to that moment, before she breaks the command. And consequence is words and touch. It's not designed to intimidate, dominate, break her spirit, hurt her, or have her fear us. But what we are trying to do is let her know that this is the way we want it, you're gonna get praise. Our job is to praise at least 20 times more during the day than we bite. So that's the purpose of what we're doing here. When we start the work, uh, she may do everything right, but if she does it, I'm gonna provide a little consequence, okay? Uh, if she does everything right, I'm gonna show you the type of consequence that we need to do, okay? You just gotta practice it five minutes, 10 minutes here and there, not just at home, we start at home, but out in the world. Go to wherever you had a concern or something didn't quite go that way before and practice in those environments. All right, sweetheart, you ready? She loves treats, so I'm gonna give her a treat from time to time. Uh, I wanna reward her, you remember that's part of praise, but at the end of the day, she's doing it because we ask her to do it, not because of the reward. You ready? Let's go. Good girl, hear my tone of voice, Add a girl. I'm gonna reach down here, that's another form of treat, is reaching down and petting her when she's doing what I want. Notice I've got a short leash here, all right? The purpose of the short leash is twofold. One is if she starts to go here or starts to go here, all we're gonna do is tap that leash right back to our side. If she gets, good girl, if she, I love the way she's watching us, okay? I'm actually gonna give her a treat for that. It's always good when she's focusing on you that you reward her. If she gets behind us, I may tap up, but I may try to encourage her just as much, okay? The only reason I would probably default to a, a consequence from behind is if she's purposely doing it. She doesn't wanna work or she's trying to uh, get over on us, then I would bite. And that bite is just like I'm showing you. We're not here to intimidate or dominate. Let's go. Good girl. So we're walking together, short leash. If we saw something, I turn around immediately. Look at her. Good girl. She turned right back with me, okay? Sit. Good girl. Sit is sit. That's the hand signal. When I ask her to sit, I expect her to do it right then. If she didn't sit when I did that, I would bite the leash. Straight up, no, sit. Okay, if she got out of it, broke the command, it would be no sit. If she got up and broke the command and moved over there, this is for any command, I would take her back, no, 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 sit, and put her back, good girl. After every one of those consequences, and when she did it the way I wanted, I would uh, give her light praise, not as much as if she did it right the first time, unless she was trying real hard to obey. And you're gonna see her as smart as she is, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it, she's thinking through these commands. Because I mix up my, my patterns, she's having to concentrate a little bit more than if we just did the same thing over and over. 
I'm getting ready to ask her to be R-E-A-K. And when I do, watch what happens. I actually got a little treat here. Watch what I do. All right, step back. My hands are here. Good girl. I'm gonna pet her and love her. All right, good girl. That's a good girl, okay? She has to do nothing but come right to me. Notice my treat was here. In the beginning, I give a, a reason for my dogs to come right here. When they come right here on the break, the odds are of them seeing something this way or this way are much slimmer when she's focusing on us. That's why I praised her a little bit ago for watching me. The more our dogs watch, the more they're gonna pay less attention to the world outside. She's got a prey drive, she's got a play drive. We've got to get her interest on us more so than those other things. It's a natural behavior, okay? We just want to try to, to get our dogs to wanna be with us and focus with us and if not, we're going to give hand signals and make our dogs have to pay attention to us. Okay, so we're walking. Sit. There we go again. Let's go. That time I didn't break. That time I just turned right around and uh, told her to let's go and start walking. Down. Good girl. Down is down. I ask her down. She lays down. She's not going to pick up rocks or do anything like that in any of these commands. Okay. I want her to be paying attention at a girl she's watching. When as soon as she hit the ground, if I wanted to give her a treat, I would. If she'd have popped back up, I would have corrected her. No, down, in that very light consequence. This is her head. If she popped up or didn't do the down, it'd be no, down, okay? Not much harder than that. That's probably the level that we're at. Maybe we could get a little bit harder, but uh, she's probably gonna test her family a little more than us, because it's real easy for us to show her that, that we're leaders. Good girl. So we had D-O-W in from the side. We, I mean, from in front, break. Good girl, down, from the side, hand signal like that. Let's go, okay? And, and why we use hand signals is to help teach our dog to focus a little bit more, okay? So I talked to you about the break command. Well, let's do something else. Huh. All right, now we'll do, hey baby, good girl. I'm gonna reward her for that, and a girl. Uh, places, lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book. I don't care what you do as long as you stay on the bed. She's doing this with us in the evenings when we're relaxing and my other dogs in the house, uh, hour and a half, two hours at a time. She gets right there and she'll just sack right on out. Uh, she's comfortable, because I like to give a padded bed not just a towel. I like for something for her to be comfortable if I'm gonna keep her in there for a long time. And we're the leader when we ask her to do that. We could be working at our desk. We could uh, have company over. We tell her to play, she's gonna be there if we make her, okay? Notice I actually sent her from a distance. My hand signal was this, I sent her from the distance. In the beginning, I would get much closer to teach. Once she's got it, as soon as that four foot hits, I would praise her. Just like with sitting down, if she popped off now, I would get her and tap her back. No, 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 play, and then good girl. Remember, no command. She can lay down, sit down, stand up. I don't care what she does, as long as she's not doing a bad behavior when she's on the bed. Let's go. Good girl. Ah, see how I turn and see how she focused on that? That's a good girl. I think she thought I was getting ready to tell her to dance. Good. Okay, so now the next, good girl. Again, she's watching me. You love that when a dog uh, watches you. Because like she said, what do I do next? What do we do next? That's why we keep these lessons typically short and upbeat. We always want to quit on a good note, but we want our sessions to be as positive as we can. Next is the C-O-M-E. And guess what? It's a lot like that B-R-E-A-K command. There is a hand signal for it. Come. And now when she comes, she has to sit automatically Good girl, great, good. So we want her to come to us and we want her to sit. Again, with the treat here, with my hands focused here, she knows where to come. On break, I don't care if she sits or not, but on the come command, I want her to sit. I want her to be under control, okay? And you notice how well she did it. In fact, she may have sat on the break command a while ago. I don't remember, I seem to think so, but I don't know. Let's go, but there's nothing wrong with that, sit. That a girl. Let's go. Good girl. We want her to be happy. We want to get her excited. 
we don't want to get her so excited that she messes up on a command. If we get her real excited and she blows it, we got to bite it. Okay, and just know the next time that uh, we might have to bite it when she does it again. But there's no law, there's nothing bad about having a good time. Right, sweetheart? Good sit. Ooh, good girl. Dale. Good. Right. So, I just saw something. She didn't jump on me then, but I saw something she may have done at home on the come command or, or when she's coming up to you. If you saw that, her little liposon thing, royal liposon thing didn't bother me because she didn't jump, but she was wanting to engage in play. It's okay to play, but not while you're working. You can love her and excite her, but that's pretty much to the extent of it, okay? Okay, baby, come. Good girl. I'm gonna give her a treat. Now, right, if you notice, I held that for about five seconds, three seconds longer than when she first got to me. So when she first got to me and I gave her a treat, I rewarded her for immediately coming up and sitting. When if I waited three to five seconds or even 15 seconds while she was here and gave her the treat, I'm rewarding her then for holding the command, okay? Let's go. So the other thing that I think is important is the heel command. The heel command is we have an imaginary box, okay, that we want her in. It's our job to keep her in, it's her job to stay in. And we can do that, heel, hand signal, we stop, she sits automatically, good girl. She holds that sit until we release her or go into the heel command. In the beginning, we just do short motions to teach her when to heel, when to stop. Now you notice I turned there, but then what did I do after that? I straightened up, right. I, I walked through the curve and then I took three or four more steps. Why? Because when I'm turning, she can't be in that box. See how she's having to react to what I'm doing here? Good girl, she's trying. So I don't want to screw her up. I don't want her to screw up. I don't want to have to bite her. So when I'm making those turns, we come on through, then I'm going to straighten up so she can get back in the box. See how she did that? Very good girl. Okay, so heel, watch me turn, I'm turning, I'm turning. Atta girl. Good girl, very good girl. That's the heel command. She holds, stops and sits and holds it. Big thing to remember, we're walking straight lines to begin with, then we're starting to make turns, but when we make turns, we continue on for a few steps to allow her to get back into our box because she cannot read our mind. Okay, let's go. The other thing with her being a service dog, there are times when she's allowed to jump on us, allowed to get up on furniture. It's not a big deal, it's whatever you want to do. As long as you're the leader, there's nothing really bad about the furniture. I think with a potentially aggressive dog, that could create problems. They're taking ownership and higher up. But here we go, ready? Load up. Ah, my girl, I'm a rewarder for that. Good girl, good girl, great. That can be in the car, that can be in the furniture, it'll be you know, on furniture, it can be steps, it can be what have you. The big thing is I tell her to load up or whatever your command wanted to be, and we load her up. Now, if we wanted her to get off, I would break, okay? Or I might teach her off. It can be either thing that you would want to do. But if she jumped on the furniture or jumped in something I didn't want, that would be a no. That wouldn't be off. That wouldn't be break, that would be no, because we didn't ask her to get on it, okay? Uh, if we asked her to get on, break, off, good girl, and then if she didn't get off, it would be no, off, or no, period, just to get off, and then we reward when she gets off. Uh, the only other thing is the stay command. Uh, we can use, I don't use the stay in the sit, I use it in down, and I use it in motion. And what do I be, mean by motion? Say we're in a room of our house and we want her to stay in that room. As I started to go out of that room, I would go, stay. And then I would walk through, okay? And she's there, good girl. And if she held it there for a few seconds, I would come back in and say, atta girl, good girl, good. We've not done a stay outside like this standing up. But then you go out the room and you disappear. If she comes with you, you just walk her back in, no, 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 stay, good girl, and you walk right back out. Stay command is great, but it's not necessarily used on uh, all your obedience. 
It's used primarily as a place for her to stay and be comfortable, but don't be up under our feet at that moment in time. If you need me, you pick up the phone to call me. You know we address everything in the moment of time and then praise the result, consequence of not, and then praise, uh, but make sure we provide the proper motivation and always end in praise. Remember, we praise 20 times more during the day than we bought. I'm here if you need me, 336-945-3232. I tell people all the time, humans are the limiting factor. She knows what's going on. It's our job to make sure she knows what to do for us and that we reward that behavior, not just with treats, but with love, with emotion and everything else. Jim Hodges, dog training. Again, thank you so much. God bless. Thank you.